Hello everyone, this is Admiral Plerowski bringing you Atlantic Fleet single battle escorting Edinburgh. 2nd of May 1942, while escorting convoy QP-11, HMS Edinburgh, carrying 4.5 tons of Soviet gold, is hit by two torpedoes from U-456. Crippled and under tow, Edinburgh comes under attack from destroyers two days later. Historical outcome, Edinburgh sunk, Z-7 sunk, Foresight heavy damage, Forrester heavy damage, Z-25 medium damage. And this time we're going to take the German side. The British have the initiative. Here we go. Ah, they're firing, are they? Ah, right. I see. That's pretty brave of them. Very brave. I'd say almost foolish. Or have they accepted the loss of the Edinburgh and they're just trying to... Alright, steady on. Or have they accepted the loss of the Edinburgh and they're just trying to sink the destroyers? Yeah, I mean, this is this ship is, in, is not in ship shape. Only one turret operational and the propulsion has got... Is that heavy damage or light damage? I think it's light damage. Uh, how do I want to play this? I think the way to play this, yeah, I think I'll have Z7 go for the Edinburgh and then Z24 can go for the Foresight and Z25 can go for the Forester. Right, um, in that case then we'll go flank, harder port. We're going to target the Edinburgh. We're going to use... Go on, let's use armor piercing. Suggested elevation of 23.5. We'll go 23.1. Which is right over here. Fire. Yeah, that's a hit. That's one hit already. This is the Z24. Z24 will go for the Foresight. Harder port again. Right. 14 degrees is suggested. We'll go 14. High explosive shells. Fire. A little bit long. That's no problem. Um, yeah, go on. You also go flank, harder port. Your propulsion, however, is damaged, I see. Propulsion, is that light damage or heavy damage? I'm not sure. It could be either or. 11.7 is suggested. We'll go... We'll go 11.2, actually. Fire. Ah, a little bit short. No! That's annoyingly close. Oh, that's close as well. Wow. Forced to firing. They've missed this time. Good. Good, good, good. Let's even turn a little bit. Right. Um, we scored one hit. Admittedly not a brilliant result, but for a fast salvo, I think it's, it's a good one. Let's go down to 22-4. Shoot! Or rather fire away. Yeah, good hits, good hits. So 14 was a little bit long. I agree. I think it was a little bit long. For that reason, let's drop it down to... Mm, I'll say 13-1 maybe, or even... Yeah, go on. 
fire. Oh, beautiful hit. Beautiful. Look at that. Four torpedo tubes and AAA has been lightly damaged, I think. I think that's light damage. Right. Let's try and replicate that with the Forester. Forester was just a little bit, sh little bit short. We'll go to eleven five. Fire. Mm, hits have been scored, but not, not a great deal. No. Oh, that's close. They've straddled us. That's what they've done. They've straddled us. And the foresight is a little bit long. Forester movement. Forester firing. They're long again. Good. Good. That's fine. Let's weave about a little bit. All right, we'll switch to some high explosives this time. We'll go 22.1. Fire. Because they're already heavily damaged. Oh no, these missed. Hmm, that's not so good really. 13.1 was there. Let's go to 12.7. Fire. Good. Good hits. Eleven five was almost there. Yeah, let's go down maybe to eleven. Let let's go to eleven two again. Yeah. Fire. Good. That's a fire set. All right, so they've missed. Foresight with just two guns. Oh! But two guns doesn't stop them from scoring some devastating hits. So that's the first major damage that they've dealt to us. If anything then, let's go back up to 22.4. Fire. We need to score some hits on the Edinburgh. Nope. That's not scoring hits at all. What's been damaged here? Nothing. Have we damaged anything here? It's P word time. Pumps and propulsion with heavy damage. Four torpedo tubes light damage, AAA destroyed. Right, so that means they're not going to be here for much longer. Let's go down to one third to stop the fire spreading. We'll stop it spreading as quickly as it would do otherwise. 12.3 suggested. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go I'll go twelve two. Fire. Good. That's a nice big explosion. I reckon one good salvo and we've got the um the foresight finished. Sunk. Let's just check the forester's damage. Triple A with heavy damage. Right, 11.3 was there. Let's go to 11. Fire. Whoa! They're gone. They are gone. Gone, I tell you. Foresight unleashes a broadside. The broadside 
is long, however. Let's just have a look at the Forester, though. They're going under. B turret heavy damage, AAA destroyed. So, well, that means what... Do you know what? I think... Turn and make smoke and close in to take out the Edinburgh. Is that 24 over here? Propulsion steering... No, propulsion pumps and aft torpedo tubes with heavy damage. AAA destroyed. Have we got any damage? None yet. We do have a fire, however. Fires can be deadly, so we should be still careful. Nevertheless, twelve two. I'll go. To, I'll go. I'll go. Eleven nine. Fire. One hit. Right. You can actually have a go then at um, trying to take out the Edinburgh then. I do hope that 5.9 inch shells will be... The foresight is gone. The f um, there'll be a better weapon to, than, than 5 inch shells. Fire. No, they've not gone well at all. So it's just the Edinburgh left. We've sunk the destroyer escort. Yeah, you continue turning in. Make smoke and close in. Um... Is that the foresight over here? It is the foresight. Yeah, final damage, propulsion, pumps, both sets of torpedo tubes with heavy damage, and AAA has been destroyed completely. They've capsized and sunk. Right. Well, that changes everything. That changes, well, maybe not everything, but a lot. Let's turn you a little... Actually, no, because you're going slower, you do a full 30 degree turn. And 17.5 is suggested. I don't have anything better to use. So let's go up to 17.5. Oh, go on. Fire. Oh, 17.5 would have hit them. And it would have hit them good. Not to worry, though, because um, we now have targeting information for the Edinburgh specifically. Fire. We'll see if the, the shells do any damage. No, still a bit short. They're still short. Right, you can continue to Close in. You can continue going forward until your fire's put out. We're not get, getting used to flank. Flank is only for undamaged ships, which is you on the next turn. Fire. I'm hoping 17.7 will be good. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that good, was it? Right, you move forward. Now, unfortunately, what we've done here is we 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 have obscured our view, but that's fine. I still have a good idea of what range to fire at. They're going for the Z7. Is that because they can see the Z7 is closing in for a torpedo run? Maybe. Maybe it is. Although I don't know. 
Ah, we weren't meant to slow you down anymore. We want to increase your speed now. Fire. I promise on the next turn we'll get you up to flank. Good, we've, we're hitting them. That's for sure. We are hitting them. So 15-1 was good, they're saying. Let's do 15-1 again then. Was it actually good or are they just lying to me like that? No, they're, they're lying to me. Blatant lies are being told. Oh, that's close. They've straddled that destroyer, but that's not the one they're going for. Let's continue to close in. Right, you go up to flank now because you're undamaged. Ready to go. 18-1 was good. Let's go 18-1 again then. Fire. They're not, they're not giving up. We are, you know, hitting them quite consistently as well. But they're refusing to sink. Nope, they're, they're not having it. For that reason, then, we'll have to switch tactics slightly. And when I say switch tactics slightly... I mean to switch the guns from high explosive shells to armor piercing shells. Fire. They are 5.9 inch armor piercing shells, so they should do damage. They have to, surely. Surely they have to do some sort of damage. Well, they are doing damage because um, the Edinburgh is slowing down. Well, a bit, not mu not by much, but it is damaged nevertheless. Oh, here we go. We've got a fire on board. That's good. Yep, continue to close in. Oh, they've put it out already. Really? That's what we're going for? Unbelievable. We'll have to reset that fire then. Go again. Oh, big explosion. Propulsion and pumps now damaged as well, heavily. The only things that aren't damaged are the steering, the B turret and the AAA. I think we're going to do it without the torpedoes then. Just stand by. We could be um, looking potentially at sinking the Edinburgh without the torpedoes. Although if if this destroyer, if the Z7 gets close enough, we will launch those torpedoes. They can see the threat clearly from the Z7 because that's the destroyer they're firing at. But they're not doing a very good job of it. They're simply not doing a good job at this. Mind you, I guess the destroyer is deploying smoke. So that might be a reason why. And they are getting closer and closer. Quite quickly as well. Which could also be a reason, because that messes with your... Um, with the range finding. No, we're short again. Oh, they're not going for the Z7 anymore. They've changed targets halfway through the battle then. Right, how far away are they? Are they? 6,800. I think we can turn to starboard and launch some torpedoes now. Right. Eight torpedoes. They're saying seven two seven six point nine for torpedoes. Two seven six point nine. So right over here then. 
I will say... I'll say 5.0. I'll say... Yeah, I'll say 5.5. .5, every half a degree. I'll say 6.0. Uh, go on, let's do one more. And I'll say 6.5 as well. But actually, because they're 6,000 away, we're going to put the fourth one over here. Right. Here we go. Fire away. Right, and so, well, you guys can continue to just fire away, I guess. 18.4 was maybe a little bit long. Let's try 18.3. It, it seems those torpedoes weren't necessary after all, then. One more, um... One more salvo from the destroyers was all that was required. So, final damage for the Edinburgh. Take a deep breath for this one. Propulsion pumps heavy damage. Main spotter, main radar, ATAR, extra, white turret, port torpedo tubes, starboard torpedo tubes destroyed, AAA, light damage. They're going under. That's what they're doing. Are they going under quickly or slowly? No, I'd say they're going quite quickly. Quickly enough that I will stay and watch. We can just about see the mast going under now. Usually the mast doesn't go under like that. Usually... Usually the mast goes under well before anything else. Like, usually the mast isn't the last thing that sinks. But on this occasion, it, it, it was the last thing to sink. Well, there goes the Edinburgh. The Edinburgh has been sunk. We can get back to the Z25 or the Z24. I'll get back to the Z7. Action report. On the British side, the light cruiser Edinburgh was sunk for 12,000 tonnes. The destroyers Forsyth and Forrester were sunk for 1,405 tonnes each. On the German side, the destroyer Z7 received light damage, the destroyer Z24 received medium damage, and the destroyer Z25 received light damage. That's a score of 14,810. And that is all from Admiral Playerowski for this video. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, leave a like and subscribe. If you have a custom battle suggestion that you would like to see me turn into a video, drop a comment below and your suggestion will be up within a day or two. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video and bye bye for now.